What's up guys, it's Baby Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am taking you grocery shopping with me. I am home from Arizona and I have like no groceries in my apartment so I wanna go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. So that'd be fun to do a different kind of video and actually bring you with me to the grocery store, show you what I'm buying and how I plan out what I'm gonna get. So that is the plan for today. And there are a couple steps I take before I actually go to the grocery store. The first one is cleaning out the refrigerator, the pantry, and throwing away any expired food. And then I will write a grocery list and put together all the things that I want to get. For me personally, I don't like planning out exactly what I'm gonna have on each day just because I like to eat based on my mood and how I'm feeling, but I do like to plan out meals in advance so I have everything to make those. So I'm gonna get stuff to make like shrimp bowls this week, salmon and pasta. So those are like my main dinners that I'll probably be having. And then for lunches, I usually do like avocado toast or like eggs. And then for breakfast, I always do like my fruit bowls. So I don't specifically write out what I'm gonna eat every day, but I will have enough and the things that I need for certain meals. You can see there's really not a lot in my fridge right now. I have a little bit of iced coffee left some cheese, a little bit of yogurt, and cream cheese, and then this is all of my condiments. So there's really not a lot in my fridge right now. The freezer does have a little bit more, but there still are a few things that I need to get. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be going to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, and the reason I go to both is because Whole Foods has things that Trader Joe's doesn't have, like my yogurt or oat milk and things that I really like, but I do know that Whole Foods is a more expensive grocery store, so I don't get like my produce or my like salmon or chicken or shrimp or anything like that there, so I like Whole Foods a lot but I do know it is a little bit more expensive so that's why I go to both and if you are new here I just want to clarify because I'm telling you guys I get messages and comments about this all the time but I am not vegan I am not pescatarian I don't classify the way I eat in any way I'm gluten and dairy free because I am intolerant to gluten and I'm lactose intolerant and I was tested by a doctor so that's just the reason why I eat gluten and dairy free but I do eat plant-based sometimes with like red meats because I don't personally like red meat so I do plant-based options instead but if I make something and I use a plant-based meat and you don't like that then you can totally substitute substitute it for a red meat or chicken and I'm not saying the way that I eat is better by any means I'm just telling you how I like to eat so at Whole Foods, I wrote a little dairy-free section, but I'm gonna get oat milk, yogurt, and cheese. And then for frozen things, I need to get my English muffins, blueberries, and sausage patties. For drinks, I wanna get iced coffee and kombucha. Snacks, I'm really into crackers and hummus. And then for some other things, I need to get penne pasta and pasta sauce. And if you guys like this little Whole Foods list, you can screenshot it or take a picture of it. And then on the back, I just wrote my Trader Joe's list. So I put fruits and veggies, blueberries, strawberries, bananas, lemons, avocados, green beans, broccoli, cucumber, tomatoes, microgreens, and arugula. And then for proteins, I'm gonna get salmon, shrimp, and eggs. Grains, I wrote brown rice and oats. And then for other, vanilla extract, because I ran out, and pesto. So if you guys like this Trader Joe's list, you can also take a picture, screenshot, write any of it down. But I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods first and then we'll go to Trader Joe's. I also love that I'm having a full-on brown moment. <laughs> 
right now. Even in my purse, so really got the browns going on today. But let's go grocery shopping, guys. Here's my Whole Foods. So the first thing I'm grabbing is the Oatly Original Oat Milk. But I've also been seeing a lot of people drink this Malk Oat Milk. So I kind of want to get one of these just to try it. But I don't know the difference. Oh, that's almond. I want to try the milk oat. I usually get the Forager unsweetened big yogurt, but they're out of it right now. So I think I'm just going to get the Kite Hill one. I do really like this one too. So we'll go with this today. I'm also kind of curious about this Oakley oat milk or Oakley yogurt, but I'm really short and I can't really reach it. So I'm literally standing on my tiptoes. I really like trying new things and being able to tell you how it is. So keep you updated on that yogurt. I also need to get cheese and there's this entire dairy free and vegan like cheese section at Whole Foods. They also have like dressings. So I'm just gonna get this Follow Your Heart Parmesan so I can have it with pasta. I also like using this for my Caesar salad. BioLife is my favorite cheese here. I also like the Miyoko's one. This mozzarella is really good. And I've tried the cheddar and the mozzarella and they're both good. I also usually get this veganaise. It's the one with avocado oil. I like this one a lot. And then for dairy-free cream cheese, this Miyoko's one is my favorite. It's kind of stuck in here, but this plain one is really good. I saw that Forager came out with a new cheese too, but I don't see it here. I really wanted to get it if they had it, but it doesn't look like they have it. I get my bread from the frozen section. So I'm just gonna get the gluten-free English muffins. I don't like that that one's all like messed up. So I'm gonna get this one, it's the multi-seed, and then they also have this orange packaging one that's the brown rice. I've been loving blueberries in my overnight oats, specifically frozen blueberries. So I'm just gonna get a bag of these. Then at My Whole Foods, they have a whole section of the frozen Beyond Meat. And I like a lot of these, honestly. I love the Italian flavored sausages and the burger patties are really good. I also get this ground beef for doing like taco nights. And I'm a huge fan of the meatballs. But I'm gonna get the sausage patties. I love having these with eggs. They're really good, like, brunch kind of food. I'm sad because they only have one guava goddess left, but we know I'm gonna snag that. A lot of people have been telling me to try the Lavender Love, but it doesn't look like they have that one either. They have Roseberry, Tantric Turmeric, Hibiscus ginger. Hmm. Maybe I'll try the roseberry. Actually, no. I don't want this one. I do really like cosmic cranberry though, so I'm gonna get this one too. And then I also want to get the cold brew. These are the Starbucks ones, and I think they're a good price, $5.49 for an entire jug of it. So I'm gonna get the medium roast one. I know that some
some people will drink like this brand, but $10.99 on sale for $8.99, like that's so expensive. We're doing good so far. Gotten everything from the dairy-free frozen and drink section. So now I'm gonna go to the snacks. Or maybe I'll, I need hummus. So maybe I'll go get the hummus next. Hummus is always so hard for me. I never know which one to get. Cause they all always look so good. I kind of want to try this Hope Hummus. I've actually never had this one before, but I've heard some good reviews. But if you guys have a hummus you love, comment that down below. The Bitchin' Sauce dips are also really good. And then I actually did see someone use this Cashew Queso, the mild nacho one, with the Bonza noodles and did like a mac and cheese. So I kind of want to try that. It sounded pretty good and it has good ingredients in it. So I think I'm going to do that. I love all of these crackers so much. Mary's brand is so good. These ones are also good too. They're just a little bit different consistency. They're more like crunchy. But I've heard a lot of reviews about the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. So I think I wanna get those today instead. The reason I love crackers like this is because it has really minimal ingredients and I think the key to making sure that it's healthy is being able to pronounce everything and like knowing exactly what's in it. This is the chip aisle and I really don't shop in the processed food section that much. Sometimes I buy the Siete chips. I love the lime ones and the sea salt ones. They're really good, um, but I pretty much just do that if I'm doing like tacos. I also need to get some pasta. I love the Bonza pasta. I already have a box of the elbows at home, but I also really love this lentil pasta, so I think I'm gonna get the green lentil penne this time. I compared the ingredients of the green lentil with the Bonza chickpea pasta, and it looks like this one might be a little bit healthier. I also need to get pasta sauce, and this is one thing that's always hard for me to pick because there's so many different ones, but I've always wanted to try this one right here, and I never buy it because it's $8.99, but it's on sale, so that's kind of exciting. So I think I'm gonna get the roasted garlic. I always buy tomato and basil at Trader Joe's, but I just wanna try something different, so I think I'm gonna get this one. I think that's everything off of my list that I wrote. I try not to get too many things extra. I obviously got like that Oatly yogurt and then I got that Siete cheese dip, but I think that looks pretty good. So I just pulled up to Whole Foods. I mean Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. I just left Whole Foods and it was so loud in there. So I'm really hoping that like it doesn't just, my like voice isn't drowned out by the music they were playing. So. We'll see when I edit. <laughs> but, about to go get the rest of my things and hopefully they have everything. Fruits and veggies are first, so I'm gonna get some bananas. I think I like these ones. Here are the fruits, so I'm gonna get some strawberries. No, I think this one looked the best. And then I need blueberries, so I'm gonna get these. I also have lemons and avocados, and avocados are right here. I like to get two different ones. Maybe that one. This one looks pretty good. So you can see there's like one that's more ripe and then one that will be ready in a few days. Need to get some lemons. Clean 
steamed green beans, broccoli florets. And the broccoli florets is actually cheaper than a whole head of broccoli. You probably get more with that, but this is so much easier. Also gonna get some microgreens. And these are the dressings that I've been obsessed with lately. Spicy cashew butter. I haven't tried their vegan teaser, but I'll try that after I finish the Follow Your Heart one. And then also the Green Goddess one. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know if I would like it. That one looks pretty good. I was gonna get arugula, but I forgot to look for dressings at Whole Foods because I wanted to try a new dressing with it. So I think I'm just gonna get one of these instead because I've been really into my Caesar salads and I'm getting cucumber so and avocado so I feel like that just makes more sense. This is by far the best pesto. It's the vegan cashew kale and basil pesto. I buy this all the time but I really want to get this. I don't even know what I'm going to make with it yet, but I just need it. They also have cherry tomatoes and then a garden medley tomatoes. I think I'm going to get the mini pearl grape tomatoes. These ones look good. I'm going to get these large brown pasture raised eggs. So just checking them, make sure none of them are broken. So the next proteins I need are salmon and shrimp. I'm gonna go down the frozen section and get the shrimp and then the brown rice. All seafood, I get wild seafood and these shrimp are really good. So get a bag of that. And I just need to get salmon. Again, I always get wild caught. I'm gonna get, I think this one looks pretty good. Also gonna get a bag of rolled oats. I guess I already have some, so I might just wait because I kind of like the Bob's brand. So I'm actually not gonna get that. But I do get hemp seeds and chia seeds a lot. And I like the prices here for that. Also, I am obsessed with the cereal, the Panda Puffs, but I cannot buy it because I will literally eat the whole box in like a week. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm almost out of mint garlic, so I'm just grabbing this on the way. Here we go need to get this vanilla extract. I think I'm gonna get this one. This cinnamon raisin bread is also so bomb, but don't need it. I really don't need any of the breads, but I just wanted to show them to you because they do taste really good. Maybe I'll get that multigrain brown rice bread next time. I've never seen that one, but that one looks really good. I already bought the English muffins though, so I'll have to wait till my next grocery trip. I'm good, how are you? I got all of these groceries, and I figured it would still be interesting for me to give you a haul of all of the things I got. Even though you already saw it at the store, I still feel like you might want to see it again. So, we're going to go through Whole Foods first, and... Trader Joe's and I'm also gonna put it all in the fridge and show you guys how it looks stocked up again so we're just gonna go through everything got the Beyond breakfast plant-based sausages or the patties medium iced coffee Oatly original oat milk kombucha that's the cosmic cranberry and then this one is the guava goddess and then my English muffins. And then in this bag, we got the Simple Mills almond flour crackers. Wait. What 
the heck? I meant to get the almond flour. I kept saying that. And then I got the sprouted seed. But whatever. I'm sure they'll still be really good. And then the green lentil penne pasta. The Malk original oat milk. Siete cashew queso. Follow your heart dairy free parmesan. Frozen blueberries. Kite Hill unsweetened plain yogurt. And then also the Oatly plain yogurt. Hope hummus. And this rat rayos or i think it's rayos roasted garlic pasta sauce now for trader joe's got the pasture raised eggs strawberries broccoli florets microgreens i love these alaska sockeye salmon you guys, I just dumped out every single tomato in this bag. I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I have to wash those. It's super good. Oh, there's the tomatoes. <laughs> the organic brown rice bags. The vegan cashew kale and basil pesto. And the wild shrimp. And then in this last bag, I got organic romaine hearts, green beans, a cucumber, Bananas. I am running out of space here. <laughs> Lemons. Vanilla extract. Avocados. Minced garlic. And last but not least, blueberries. Gotta love a fully stocked fridge. Looks a lot better than it did earlier. Especially looks good with my egg crates and berry box colanders. So, I'm very pleased right now. So at Whole Foods, you can see I spent $70.50. I got 16 items. And then at Trader Joe's, I spent 
$73.37 and I got 24 items. I really hope you guys like seeing this kind of video like grocery shopping with a full grocery haul. So definitely let me know if you did. I know that some people don't like grocery hauls or grocery shopping and that's totally fine. But if you do like this video, definitely let me know so that I know to film more of these in the future. But I want this video to be just about grocery shopping, so I am going to close it out here. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.